FIFA 13. A lot of us waited months for this bad boy to drop. We do it every year. A lot of us wait months every single year just waiting for that new FIFA to come out. So excited to finally see what EA is going to release this year. FIFA 13 is out and it's an amazing game. But my question to you guys is this. Is this FIFA 13 the most sweaty FIFA you've ever played? Is it more sweaty than FIFA 12? Is it more sweaty than FIFA 11? Is it more sweaty than FIFA 98? Look, I hate the word sweaty. I'm going to be honest with you. But the other day I Googled sweaty goal. And you know if you Google it, they'll give you the definition to sweaty goal. When I saw this, I was like, what the f? I couldn't believe it. The reason I don't like the word sweaty goal is because Barcelona does it in real life. And people say, that's gorgeous football. It's the best football in the world. You do it in a video game and you get called a noob. Now, my thing is this, if you do it once or twice in a game, that's cool. But if you do it like five or six times and you're just abusing it, I think that's a bit crazy. There's no need for that. Now, I've been seeing a lot of people playing five defenders. I've been seeing a lot of people scoring crazy sweaty goals, like seven goals. <laughs> that's all they do is score sweaty goals, no matter what the score line is. So my question to you guys is this, did EA fail on this game? Is it EA's fault? Is this game too competitive? Did EA fail when they removed the single player out of Ultimate Team? Is Ultimate Team too competitive? Is that why people are trying to score so many sweaty goals so they can just go up in divisions? I'm not going to lie to you. I love the division thing. But really, I think they should have kept the single player for the casual players, for the people that don't like the competitive side of FIFA. Now we're going to take a look at other games and see how they deal with it. First game we'll look at is World of Warcraft. Now this game, you can play arenas. That's for real competitive people that want to PvP competitively. Then you can go into random battlegrounds and that's for the casual players that just jump on for a couple hours, don't take the game too serious. Then there's rated battlegrounds for people who take the game very serious and they want to be competitive and they want to be MLG pros, right? but they separate it. That's what Blizzard does. They separate the two gamers. Then you look at the game League of Legends. Now, League of Legends, I don't really play it that much, but I know a little bit about it. There's random games you can jump into where you just play with randoms and stuff like that. Then there's drafted games. And yeah, you still play with randoms, but this is more competitive. A lot of champions get taken away, some don't. So they separate them. Then you look at Call of Duty. They got the regular lobbies that you go into and play with randoms and yeah, it's fun and games. Then they got hardcore mode. So every game separates competitive and casual players. Now I'm all for FIFA 13 or, or not FIFA 13, FIFA in general being on the esports side of things. I want to see FIFA as big as Call of Duty. And, and World of Warcraft and Starcraft and LOL when it comes to tournaments. I'm for the competitive gaming. As a YouTuber, I'll push competitive gaming if I could. If I could help make tournaments massive, I would in any possible way. You saw what we did with VSG, JJ, myself, Cal Freezy, and Nep and everybody, the whole community. We try to make competitive gaming bigger in FIFA. So I'm for it. But for the casual people that play FIFA 13, did they ruin their experience for a lot of gamers? Let me know in the comments down below. It's up to you guys. See, because I'm for competitive gaming, like I said, and I'm for the casual players. A lot of people have been complaining about this to me on Twitter, and they wanted me to voice my opinion. So my opinion has been voiced. Now, it's your turn. If you think this game is the most sweaty, competitive type of FIFA you've ever seen, then just write a yes in the comments down below. If you think the game's fine, it's just like all the other games, there's nothing wrong with it, type of no let's see who wins <laughs> i'm your boy a9 skills i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did a like it's always appreciated if you didn't agree with me i understand i'm just stating opinions going for both sides the competitive and the casual so don't don't hate you don't gotta hate just help like trying to figure stuff out but hopefully you did enjoy it drop a like if you did subscribe if you enjoyed that content i'm your boy a9 skills and i'm out of here